Let's uh, pass an accounting entry for this transaction. Purchased goods for cash 80,000 worth on 7th February 2015. So how do we pass accounting entry? Let's uh, go step by step. Step one, we have to determine the two accounts involved in the transaction. So what are the accounts? Number one, the goods are being purchased. And when I say goods, I mean basically I purchase it for either production purpose or for immediate sale. Okay, so one account which is involved as goods and I'm, I'm purchasing it. So I'll group them in purchase account. So one account involved is purchase account. And when I purchase what happens, I'm going to pay cash. So the other account involved is cash account. Then step two, we have to classify the accounts under personal real nominal. When I purchase goods come in, so that comes under real account classification and when I purchase my cash is going out so that also comes under my real account classification then step 3 we have to find out the rules of debit and credit real account says debit what comes in and it says the real account says credit what goes out so in this case uh, goods are coming in so in step 4 we'll identify which account should be debited and created goods are coming in but i'm going to show it under the broad category called purchases so purchases is happening goods are coming in so purchase account should be debited purchase account will be debited and cash is going out credit what goes out so cash account should be created cash account should be created okay now We'll go to the journal where we'll capture the date of the transaction. It was uh, uh, 7th of February, okay, 2015. And here we'll write the account which got to be debited. It is purchase account which has to be debited. So I'll write purchase account debit. And what was the amount? It was 80,000. Then which account should be created? Cash account. So I'll write to cash account and the amount involved is 80,000. And in the narration, I have to say being goods purchased for cash.